Good morning, welcome to Caddx TV. My name is Frank Fortunato. Today is Monday, July 25th, 2016. If you want to follow us on Twitter, please go to Caddx TV. A 6.1 magnitude earthquake has struck off the southern coast of Australia. The quake has been measured uh, as a 6.1 on the Richter scale. It was approximately 1,058 miles off the coast of Queenstown. It struck at 8.58 a.m. Greenwich Mean Time today. Uh, there had initially been uh, a report of a tsunami alert, although that has now been withdrawn. Uh, thus far, there's been no reports of any damage or injuries, or for that matter, any uh, shaking or tremors felt in southern Australia. In Southern California, in the Los Angeles area, thousands of residents remain displaced this morning as the sand fire continues to burn in the Santa Clarita Valley. According to a uh, fire department battalion chief, Dennis Cross, he said, this fire, what we've seen in 72 hours, is almost unprecedented. 18 homes have already been lost by the uh, fire on Sunday night as thousands have been forced to flee. The smoke from the blaze has blanketed much of Southern California, causing air quality concerns. The fire now has uh, bumped up to about 33,000 acres in size after three days of firefighting. Uh, fire people say that the blaze uh, has uh, been largely out of control, only about 10% containment so far. Uh, more than 1,500 homes are threatened by the fire. Uh, Mr. Cross said, we're really relying on aircraft and bulldozers out ahead of this thing to try to pinch it off. But as you're seeing, with 100 foot high flame lanes, it's crossing bulldozer lines and aircraft are not able to keep it in check. So we're playing this game of hopscotch. About 300 miles up the coast, another wildfire near Big Sur has already claimed six homes, burned 17 square miles, and is only 5% contained. The London-based insurer Hiscox has seen its profits grow by 52%, up to about 206 million pounds, as favorable foreign exchange moves helped it beat analyst consensus of 153 million pounds. Much of Hiscox's uh, Profits have been denominated in dollars, not in pounds. Foreign exchange gains totaled about 87 million pounds in the first six months up to June 30th. Net earned premiums jumped up 8% to about 767 million pounds, while the combined ratio uh, improved about 1.8 percentage points down to a bit under 81%. The investment result for the first half was nearly 40 million pounds, up 35% from the previous year. Uh, Hiscox also indicated that it would set up a new EU-based insurance company if needed to weather the possible impact of Britain's decision to leave the EU. Um, this now marks the second company that has indicated uh, within the Lloyds of London environment that they would consider moving very quickly. Uh, Beasley announced on Friday that it's working to get European insurance licenses for its Irish reinsurance business for the same purpose. The news came this morning that Verizon is buying Yahoo for $4.8 billion, marking the end of an era for a company that wants to find the Internet. Uh, Verizon, of course, is the old New Jersey Bell telephone company. The sale announced today marks the second time in two years that Verizon has snapped up the remains of a fallen Internet titan. Uh, the nation's largest wireless carrier paid $4.4 billion for AOL last year. According to Verizon, the Yahoo assets it's acquiring will be integrated with AOL. Yahoo is parting with its email service and websites devoted to news, finance, and sports, in addition to its advertising tools under pressure from shareholders who are fed up with a steep downturn in the company's revenue over the past eight years. Um, Yahoo is not parting with its stake in Alibaba or Yahoo Japan. Researchers at the University of Minnesota claim that the historical increase of farmland could have increased the severity of storms across the state. Vast parts of the countryside of Minnesota have been transformed from natural prairie to farmland over the past 150 years. The university has said in a study that evaporation rates are about 40 to 50 percent higher over cornfields than they are over natural prairie, thus significantly increasing the humidity. Uh, since so much of Minnesota is now farmland, that means there has been a noticeable increase in local humidity, meaning that Minnesota's hot summers would have been much more tolerable 150 years ago, 
when the landscape is still in its natural prairie state. The increased humidity has a more dangerous implication as moisture is a key ingredient in the development of thunderstorms. The study concludes that the increase in humidity could have increased the severity of storms across the region. According to the study, when you load the atmosphere with water vapor, you increase the chances of having more intense precipitation. This is a particular concern to Minnesota, uh, which is in the area of Tornado Alley, where some of the world's most intense thunderstorms in the world occur. In Germany over the weekend now, four acts of violence have now shattered the calm and revived an emotional debate over security implications of taking in more than a million migrants and refugees in the past two years. Police have identified asylum applicants as suspects in three apparently unconnected high-profile attacks, uh, ranging from an axe, train, an axe attack on a train last week to a knife killing and a suicide blast over the weekend. Only the axe rampage in which the teenager, who is reported to be an Afghan refugee, has been identified as Islamic terrorism. But all four incidents, including a German-Iranian teenager shooting spree in Munich on Friday that killed 10, including him, have put the EU's most populous country on edge. The shooter in Munich uh, was a teenager who had been treated for depression and was obsessed by mass killings. A spokesperson for Chan uh, Chancellor Angela Merkel, who's on vacation, said that she was shocked by the weekend's events but it remains too early to predict the consequences of the government's refugee policy. Studies have shown that refugees are no more or less likely to commit terrorist acts. Bavaria, the southern German state that's been the main entry point for migrants crossing into Germany, was the site of three of last week's attacks, the axe assault in Würzburg, the shooting spree in Munich, and the bombing at a music festival near Nuremberg. Meanwhile, yesterday uh, in Philadelphia, tens of thousands of Democrats began to arrive in the city preparing for their uh, quadrennial nominating convention. Uh, Hillary Clinton, the presumptive nominee, has picked uh, governor, uh, former governor and current senator uh, Tim Kaine of Virginia as her running mate. So for the next four nights now, it will be the Democrats in the spotlight, as last week it was the Republicans in the spotlight. That's the news for today. If we have any breaking news, we'll come back and tell you. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.